Okay, so this is a demonstration of how to use Audacity. Um, the first thing is if you need to download it, um, you can search in Google, just search Audacity, and it will take you to this page, audacity.soundforge.net. This is where you can download it. It is a free um, program, and it is a trusted program that I've used for a long time, so don't worry about installing it. Um, and it does not come filled with um, viruses. Um, you can see that it customizes. It knows that I'm on a Mac, and so it pops up um, download Audacity 2.0.2 for Macs. Um, I already have it downloaded, but I just wanted to show you the web page. So I'm going to open Audacity, and here it is. Um, and I actually have an older version, so I should update, but it's all it's all pretty much the same. Um, you can look at this is what your general setup looks like. Um, so when you get into Audacity, the first thing we need to do is we need to add our voice track. So in order to add our voice track, usually um, so since you're doing a podcast, you might want to come up with a short script beforehand or um, talking points so that you know what you're going to say so you don't have to do a lot of editing. But um, once I'm ready to record, I push this button right here and as you can see it kind of highlights record. Um, and as I record, you can see that my audio is actually being recorded simultaneously. And up here, these are levels, so you can see how loud my audio is. Once I hit stop, I can come back and I can click anywhere. Oops, come on, little guy. Um, anywhere, and I can play. And as I record, you can see that my audio is actually being recorded. Okay, so you can see the sound files, um, sound waves of my audio. You can um, see that there's sometimes I got a little too close to the microphone and so I peaked a little so I it, maybe I want to redo the beginning section I can do that if I want to um, I uh, basically wherever I put my marker is and where as it I record will start you can see that my so you now can see that I have now double recorded is and where as I will oh and that's pretty horrible um, so if I want to delete a track I can just hit X there to delete it um, let's say that there's something in this like the whole beginning part that I don't really like I can just drag my mouse over it and I'm gonna go to here because I know I take a breath there so clearly I start something new and um, I'm gonna highlight it now you can see that I've highlighted this section up here you can see this says cut if I click on this I hit cut and it gets rid of that beginning section so if I uh, have an odd pause if I um, cough or if maybe I messed up the words and I wanted to do it again I could just cut it out so um, usually when I do a script I'll go through and I'll read if I read something wrong I'll just read it again and then I'll cut out the bad parts the most important thing of course is listening to it after you cut it out to make sure that you've removed everything that you need to remove um, audio levels are important these are our levels you can see left and right channels you want to stay kind of right about here here. When I peek, we'll listen down here. And up here, you can see that I hit the red and it kind of modulates my voice. Um, over here, you can see that I'm using my built in microphone, but I could um, attach another microphone if I want. Um, and then for my output, I'm using my built in output, which right now is my speakers in my computer, but it could be my headphones if those were connected. Um, you have a lot of other options up here that you can play with that you want. Trim, um, we'll trim things up. This right here, once I cut it, it now put it on a um, clipboard so I could paste it in. So now I've, um, I'm going to pretend that this is my excellent one minute podcast, even though it's about eight seconds and it's not excellent. But the next thing I want to do is I want to add some audio. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to File, Input, and I'm going to actually input some audio. And you can see that it took me right to my iTunes file. And I'm going to input um, this song called, hmm, what song do I want to input? There's so many excellent songs. But of course, I'm going to go with my favorite one, 99 Luft Balloons.
Um, it's an AIF file, which is a standard file for Macs, but um, MP3s will work, any a WAV file will work, any audio file that you have. And it's going to ask me, do I want to import that file, that exact file, or do I want to make a copy of that file for editing so it's safer? And that's usually um, what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to make a copy of it, because if I'm using the exact file and I edit it, then I might be editing that wonderful song that I wouldn't want to normally edit. So it's importing it, and you can see that it imports it as a separate track. Um, my... my um, audio track up here is a mono track and I can even change the name so I'm going to call this voice track and so now it changes the name to voice track down here I can change this name to uh, 99 luft balloons instead of 15 which was the number it was in the track in iTunes um, and I can as you can see as I oops, play this come little pointer needs to move. I don't want to highlight. Is actually being recorded simultaneously. And up oh, here, these are levels, so you can see how loud my audio is. So now you can see that my music is somewhat competing with my awesome um, voiceover. So I need to bring down the levels of my music. Right here, if I want, I can up my voiceover by putting my gain up. So I might just up that a little. And I'm going to bring down my levels of my um, music. Now again, um, I might need to add some silence before this. So if I click on this and I add silence, it go? No. Um, I can move this down. This is where you have to realize that I normally use um, another tool. <laughs> so um, I, I might need to time shift. Yeah, there it is. There's a time shift tool so I can actually get it while I'm under the music. So if you click that, that allows you to move it down the timeline. Okay, now I'm going to hit play. We're going to hear the music. It is actually being recorded simultaneously. And again, it, now I feel like it might be a little too loud, so I'm going to bring it down a little more and it will play. Um, is actually being recorded simultaneously okay. and up here these are levels so, you so now you can hear my voice stronger than you can hear the voice of Nina for all you Nina fans um, singing 99 Luft Balloons and again I oftentimes when I use music when I'm doing a podcast I don't use music with words because you can have that competition between your words and the music's words so um, classical music is great um, any kind of music that doesn't um, you know is just a soundtrack but without the vocal track um, could be uh, good for your podcast um, so that's about it for Soundtrack Pro. The last thing you need to do is you need to export it. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit export. Um, and then I'm going to export it onto uh, my desktop because I'm sure that's where all of your organization goes. And I'm going to call this Holiday Podcast. Please include your last name, guys. Um, I'm getting a lot of files called the exact same thing. And then I'm having to go back and try to figure out who sent me what. Um, I would like you to um, export it as an MP3. And you can see that there, for PC users, there might be something else you have to download. Um, instructions are in the file instructions for that are on Moodle. Um, and then I'm going to go to MP3 file, and I'm going to hit Save. And... Um, I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to mix down my tracks. Basically, what that's going to say is it's putting both of the tracks together, so I'm not going to be able to look at it in Audacity. Oh, and I have to, OK, I, this is what I haven't um, downloaded. So you're going to have to click here to download this plugin. And I go to the download page right here, and I click download. Oh, it's not. Perfect. Um, and so once I get there, I have to install it. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, I'm using the latest operating system, which could have part partly be my problem but you're gonna have to trust me and you're just gonna hit OK 
And once you hit OK, you're going to pretend that that says that it did um, export as an MP3. Uh, I will fix that. And for any of you guys who are using the latest um, software version of um, Win or Mac, I will figure out why it doesn't want to um, download that plugin. So um, I will let you know. But um, these are the instructions. You can go in here and you can figure it out. And um, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Send me an email or post them in the general email section. Um, oh wait, here, here, it, here it might be. Here's the alternative. And again, um, so save it as your last name and export it as an MP3. And as you can see, you're going to have to download um, the lame download, which is um, kind of ironic in name. So let's see if this does it for me. Here it is, lame library. OK, so I need to go to click on Audacity, choose Preferences. So I'm going to go to Audacity, Preferences. Come back here and it says extract the contents, um, the zip folder anywhere uh, you have full permissions. Audacity preferences choose libraries on the left. So we go to libraries and then um, locate under MP export library and then browse and locate the lame dialog box. So right here, we hit locate. I'm going to hit browse. It's in my downloads under lame library. I click on this and I hit open. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then I hit OK here. And we should be able to holiday podcast on my desktop. Okay, here we go, and success. Okay, so now you can see if you have the latest version of the Apple operating system, what you have to do. PC, the um, directions for you guys were right above that. And as this exports, you can see that um, I will have the file on my desktop. And again, you guys, I'm only looking for a minute to two minute podcast. Please make sure you include... Um, some music and if you want to get crazy and do an interview and have someone else in it you're more than welcome to and i look forward to hearing your podcasts bye